Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pure Soap. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. Over the past year on Pure Soap, there have been so many wonderful, memorable moments that I wanted to share a few of my favorites with you. Some days I had the most fun with our special guests. I, I, I realize everyone at home why Shelly sits like this. Why? <laughs> I didn't know it. It was just that. a slip of the tongue because and she didn't this. mean it. When you go through a script, there's everybody had a way of, you know, finding their own scenes in it. What do you mm -hmm. do? Same thing every actress in daytime yeah. does. Like, like this. Garbage, 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 garbage. 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 My part. Garbage, garbage, garbage. garbage. My part. <laughs> Mr. Amy from Green Acres. I remember him. Yeah, Gloria. Oh, J.C. Rita Jew. <laughs> You're looking, my boy. It's a pleasure to be here on Pure Show. And some days were not so fun. It's a very sad day for all of us in the world, and especially for fans of Days of Our Lives. Uh, since Days debuted on November 8, 1965, McDonald Carey has played the patriarch of the Horton family. And for years, the show opened with the words, This is McDonald Carey, and these are the Days of Our Lives. Mac, We'll miss your kind words and your gentle grace, and we dedicate today's show to your memory. It's a sad day in the soap world. Frances Heflin, who for 25 years played Mona Tyler, Erica Kane's mother on All My Children, died yesterday morning. For a quarter of a century, she was the ideal mom. Frances will never forget you. Until those shows really come ethnically diversified behind the camera. They're not you know, going to show it in front of the camera. Most of the actors will tell you that, you know, oh, yes, I have a storyline now. But what is that storyline? It's usually, I mean, look, Rosalind it's Cash. pushing the other action along. Right, Rosalind Cash on General Hospital. You saw how she looked off camera in your piece. Right. Why couldn't she have come onto the show playing a surgeon or, uh, I don't know, an administrator? She's playing this woman, beating her breast, going, I'm black, I'm so proud to be black. I mean, it's like, they don't know what they want. Some of my favorite cold opens were just outrageous. Jelly! Jelly! Hi, how are you? Fine. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, what was New York like? It was, it was fine. It was great. What's with the bag? Uh, nothing, just some clothes. Uh, goodbye. Okay. Thanks. Meet all of you. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> oh, look! They missed me! Hello. My name is Vicky, and I'm a soapaholic. Hi, Vicky! But I can't go cold turkey. I need a soap fix. So I called up my good friend, Shelly Taylor Morgan, and she said, Relax, Vicky. A half hour on the couch, and you'll be as good as new. My chair. Oh. Isn't it wonderful? It's so comfy. The color is divine, and I'm so comfortable sitting this way. Did Louise, you see what? Louise, you're my co-host. Oh, you are supposed you just to just hate the 90s. Everything's co, cohabit, co-mingle, co-dependent. I myself am a sort of co-equal person. Everybody's equal. <laughs> I want my chair. It's Louise Sorrell from Days of Our Lives, and I'm coming up next live <laughs> <laughs> on her soap. And we're hoping for a little girl. We, uh -huh. we have no problems if we have a little boy, but if we have a little girl, we're going to name her Olivia Rain. Aww. Well, hi, everybody. Well, we had our baby, and, um, well, I would like for you to meet Jaden Anderson Dikopoulos, our son. <laughs> Mr. Rogan, I'm ready for my close-up. Sometimes I had a hard time keeping all the characters straight. Clay once had an affair with Tess, Tess, both in and out of the boardroom. Now, Cooper, 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 and Allie are engaged, and in this clip, Allie is busily assembling her wedding trousseau, but her fiance, Cooper, is busily preparing for honeymoon with Tess. I'm for Klimt. You, you talk amongst yourselves. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse oh my me. God, right. they are soft! Right. There were shows where I watched the guests kiss, but perhaps the most special guests of all, my family. There's my beloved cat, Bud, my mom. Mommy! Mother! 
Cleon! Will you please come out of this dressing room? There is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. I want everybody on the set now! Mothers. Hey, Junior. Just watch who you're calling a mother. And my dad. All right, here he is in the flesh, my dad, Leon Stein. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetheart. What wonderful memories. Ah, uh, yes, I remember it well. And still ahead, the last thing as the world turns Eduardo wants to remember is his little attempt to get two love affairs going at once. For Warren Beatty and Annette Benning, this is no ordinary love affair. You could experience this kind of paradise for yourself if you win the Tahiti Love Affair Contest, courtesy of E! Entertainment Television, the Tahiti Tourism Board, and Warner Brothers. The grand prize winner and guest will fly to the islands beyond the ordinary, Tahiti, for a two-week tour of five islands and deluxe accommodations at Hotel Sofitel Resorts. A second prize winner and guest will spend one week in Tahiti aboard the luxurious Windsong cruise ship. Also, one third prize winner will receive a $250 gift certificate for the limited. Winners and guests will fly on Air France, and travel arrangements are provided by Island Vacations. For a love affair you won't forget, step into your local limited and register free, or handprint your name, address, and daytime telephone number on a postcard and send it to Tahiti Love Affair Contest, care of E Entertainment Television, P.O. Box 48972, Los Angeles, California, 90048. Happy birthday, Pure Soap. You're just a baby. Happy anniversary, Pure Soap. It's, it's one year old today. Now you get to get out of the diapers and go into the training pants, okay? Let's get serious. The second year. Happy first birthday, Pure Soap. Ow! Many, 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 many more. That guy's got a lot of energy. Well, what's a man to do when all of a sudden his past is standing right in front of him? 
Ryanar's Jack faced exactly that dilemma when he came face to face with Lon, the woman he thought he'd left behind in Vietnam. My beautiful, my own. My angel. My angel in the hell that was Vietnam. And you were my soldier, my strength, my love. With you, I felt safe. Only with you. So long ago. And from Indiana, we have Denise. Hi there. Hi. All right, who would you like Jack to be with, Mary Jo or Lon? Lon, I think you better, that way him and, and Kimo can get a relationship, and this way I think Kimo will be able to go to college now with the other Yeah, person. I agree. That sounds good. Yeah, and right. happy birthday. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Well, Jack at least seemed thrilled with finally rediscovering Lon. Unfortunately, things didn't flow quite as smoothly for As the World Turns Lisa. Lisa, what a wonderful surprise. L Lucinda and I... Well, Lucy, you old dog, you. Old dog me, pussy cat. If you haven't tried it, Eduardo's carbonara is to die for. Well, if you haven't tried it, my chocolate mousse happens to be to kill for. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Robin on the phone from New Hampshire, and I understand you had a birthday in your house yesterday, too. Yeah, my son, Damien Christopher Foster, was born yesterday. Wow. At? 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 4.35. I got a chance. Right to after we went on the air. <laughs> well, I watched you when I was in labor, so. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Well, listen, do you like Edward with Lisa or Lucinda? All I can say is, Lisa, go after your man. <laughs> I thought that scene was a hoot. Eduardo, stay away from Lucinda. Yeah, so, yeah. Tell Damien to get back with Lily. Okay. No more fighting. <laughs> All right. Take care of your little one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, folks, that's waves always tomorrow. What do Day's Matthew Ashford, G.A. Sean Kanan, and Another World's Diego Serrano have in common? Have to find out tomorrow on Pure Soap. Plus, Friday, General Hospital's Christina Wagner talks about Frisco, Jack Wagner, and Melrose Place. And saying goodbye here, we have got some uh, fashions and hair montages of me uh, to keep up with all my different looks that I do. Take a look at this and have a good one. Bye-bye. Now is your chance. But we've got a show guarantee to take away all your tax deadline headaches. Your first look at the new Y&R face, Shamar Moore. And he was also on numerous TV shows, including Seinfeld. Ooh, we got him on updates. You know the great thing about soaps? Even the street people are gorgeous. And the role of Nate will be recast. All right, folks, there are no soaps on. <laughs> I got such a kick out of this, and that's kind of a big surprise. But we're going to be mixing soaps and sports a little later on. Well, I wonder how long this friendship is going to last. And uh, are we not showing that? I guess not. In the meantime, have we got a fabulous show planned for you today.